Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you are new here, I am Apocrypha. Pleasure to meet you. If you are returning, welcome back Soul Family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. As always, we are asking for messages from our spirit guides. Only the truth and nothing but the truth. Not what we want to hear, but what needs to be heard. So please share a message with this collective. What needs to be heard right now. What message needs to come through? The chariot. Um, there may be a matter of the heart. If that is the case, you may want to watch the previous message. I'll try to uh, link it but you see the chariot so there's something that you want to move forward with and you have the key to do so so this key is your heart where is um, which is guiding you towards finding balance moving forward let's see we have the four of pentacles The two of swords in reverse. It would be a great time to start saving or to save more. I'm seeing this four of pentacles not necessarily as like a um, not like a stingy energy but an energy that's being cautious for the future like investing in the future you have to take control of your mind and um you know fight some desires that you have that way you can save for the long term knight of swords in reverse so yes i'm seeing definitely um focusing the mind We have the Page of Wands in reverse and the Three of Wands. So with the Page of Wands in reverse, what I'm seeing here is this, this struggle. This struggle in terms of feeling like there is enough or that you have enough to move towards what you maybe passionate about or feel intuitively guided to but with this three of wands what it's saying here is that you have to plan ahead you have to work towards that i'm seeing noah's ark um so i believe how the story goes is that noah gets a message from god or something to build an ark and collect or just build an ark and that animals will come because there's going to be a flood a great flood and despite everyone telling noah that he's crazy he does it anyway the great flood happens for days for nights and noah is saved along with pairs of animals um if you've been concerned about future events, current events, things going on, global events, um, yes, so prepare. Do the best that you can. When you feel guided to something, do it. It may not be something that you're happy about, may not be something that you want, or maybe it's scary kind of thing something that my father has said for so long now is better to have and not need than to need and not have so if you've been thinking about investing into certain things like survival skills or things of that sort don't get in your head about it just do it better to to have and not need than to need and not have 
Um, there's a lot of foundations being broken, being shattered, being dislocated, being moved. Ten of Cups. It's not something that... Um, This isn't meant to scare anybody, okay? This is just the message that's coming through. Um, so don't be in your head about it. The only thing we can do is our best. So if you feel intuitively guided to work on um, your survival skills or learn how to survive or to invest in like food or water, um, toiletries, things like that, then do so. Don't live in a state of fear, but prepare when you feel needed. Life is meant to be lived, but it's not just us living on this world. King of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. This is interesting, okay. I've seen world leaders. We all know that they don't care. Six of Wands. Okay, this is really interesting turn of events. Um, so of course they want success and recognition but people are starting to see and recognize the truth. Eight of Swords, people are in their head, but it's programming. Not only are we all struggling to fight this, um, in our minds, different things going on, people feeling depressed or very anxious, sleepless nights. There's a lot of disruptive energies that are going on. Hierophant, I'm seeing prophecies. I'm seeing people having prophetic dreams. I'm seeing prophecies coming true, different things of that nature. Two of Wands in reverse. And Seven of Wands. I'm seeing neighbors helping each other and I'm seeing neighbors fighting each other. I'm seeing a defensiveness and a heavily guarded feeling, but I'm also seeing people trying to help each other. Know who your family is, know where you're gonna gather, know, have a plan, an exit plan. Three of Pentacles. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a massive group of people working together to fight the tyranny. War is not something that should happen. But when you have people who are trying to oppress other people, like world leaders, government officials different people like that it takes it takes fighting back okay let's see what we have ace of uh, swords in reverse heard these are trying times Prepare, heed the warning, listen to your intuition, work on sending peace to the world and healing to the earth and to the people. Help to seek balance. Even if you don't know how to physically, you can energetically. There's a lot more at play here. 
a lot more than meets the eye. So fight the good fight. Okay. And I'm seeing people need to start questioning what it is that they're fighting for. Are you fighting for something that's really important or are you just joining a fight that's already being fought by people and it's not the most important thing? Um, I'm seeing different things. I'm seeing people opening up their mind. We are all human. We all have different perspectives and different ways of going about things. I think what matters is that we do our best to find balance. Even when we disagree, we could agree to disagree. Very interesting. Okay, so this is reminding me of a dream that I've had before. Um, but yes, I'll go ahead and leave it there. I saw 11.11. Um, just another confirmation. There we go. All right. I love you guys. I hope that this message brought some perspective to all of us. Um, it's hard because we see things are clearly happening. But then in our close vicinity, um, not everyone's going through the same hell or the same shit. 1144. So it's been difficult for everybody going through different things. All right. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope to see you in the next one. Don't be afraid. Just do the best that you can do. Live each day, day by day, do your best. And that's all we can do is to hear each other out. Do the best we can do. Um, and work towards bettering ourselves and each other. All right? Fight for freedom when you need to. Fight the oppressors. <laughs> it's easier said than done. All right? Love you guys. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.